Hello guys. This is actually my third attempt at recording this. Holy crap. Let's get started. And while this nice music is playing, I just wanted to say God damn it, my internet. On my first attempt, it just decided to up and die after 45 minutes. And then on the second attempt, I actually died. And I can't even remember the last time that happened to me in uh, inside the warship. Quite unbelievable. Yeah, that's how bad FF2 is. It crosses the fourth wall and fucks up your internet. All right, so we are at the dreadnought. First thing to do is to equip everyone with a silver plate. And equip Maria with an ether in her item slot. She's running low on MP. General strategy for the dreadnought is going to be just punch, uh, hit everything, physical attack. Notable enemies here are the mines and the were panthers, they hit really hard. And there are a couple special monsters in a box which I'll get to. So in general what you want to do is have Pyrian with the Mimitral Spear. Uh, Maria is already with her uh, Werebane. guy is fine for now, I want to equip him with a Mithril Sword. For the tough encounters, switch Ferian over to Fist as well as Guy. Otherwise, have them wield Mithril Spear and Mithril Sword. And as soon as Maria gets to 16 MP or lower, use the ether in battle. Now that we are past the guard, first thing we want to go and do is collect the sleep blade. It's called the crescent in this version. It's guarded by a monster in a box. So the sleep blade. It's guarded by a monster in a box and that can range from being really difficult to really easy. Depends on how many sergeants show up and uh, whether the mages are in the front or the back row. These guys can get a little irritating and cast blind, but at the moment blind is only more experience for our Asuna. So I don't mind it at all. Now Gordon is probably going to die. I've had really bad luck with him this run. But uh, normally he's not so bad, trust me, 8 out of 10 times Gordon turns out well. And because Gordon died so frequently, Gus only has 2 MP left. So I'm not going to waste any on Gordon if he dies. Uh, I'm going to keep this 2 MP in hand for a very special encounter. And yeah, normally normally he'd have at least 4, four casts of life to be used here. But no such luck this run. save right before this. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, I think we got the worst possible encounter. Well, let's see how we can do this. I'm probably gonna wipe here. 
sergeants are in the front row and we need to take them out on priority while three mages in the back are just going to wail at us with spells and occasionally cast sleep and blind i think at that point it'll be gg but we'll see how far we can get One sergeant down. Most of the game is just going to be attack 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 from our side because most of the encounters are really simple to deal with however it's those very rare few encounters that we really have to prepare for and you can see how bad this encounter turned out need to get rid of that one soldier asap so that we can then target the mages ouch come on he has dead so is gordon but the cool thing about this version is that i can multi target life it's only going to cost me 1 mp and it's going to bring both maria and gordon back to life fearing to if he dies wow you can do it fearing come on Wow. Uh rip. This is so close. <laughs> This battle turned out to be so long that the mage ran out of MP. It's at this point that I'm going to cast life, multi-target. So this should give us some hefty gains. Could have turned out better, but I am going to take this as a win. Maria is really low on MP now. Next battle, I definitely have to use the Ethos. But we have the Sleep Blade, one of the best weapons in the game. in an encounter i'm just going to use my lower power weapons use a iron maria equip the sword and continue on see this is the reason gordon can be really useful at level 3 fists he does decent amount of damage But if you're as unlucky as I've been, you're just gonna die repeatedly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot, but always make sure that Maria has an ether equipped. Three ethers should be enough for this dungeon. And uh, for the really difficult encounters, make sure that you cast Blink on whoever was injured. Where is, where is my ether? Yeah, I do have one Free experience for Asuna. Continue on. As I mentioned, the most dangerous encounters are uh, the mines and the wear panthers. So I'm gonna switch to bear fist for uh, bear fist with shield in the offhand. Gordon gain another fist level. He might turn out, still turn out well. There we go. In succession we have the encounters so quite happy about that. Fortunately the werebane is super effective against these assholes. You can run into four of them in a group actually. That's what happened on my first run. We are strong enough to deal with that but yeah Gordon died and I wasted some MP let's not go into that we get the thieves, con thieves gauntlets here and I'm gonna pass that over to Gordon so now he has a little more evasion and uh, a lot more defense Continuing on, there's just not really anything to say.
Ouch. An arm skill increase that will probably help me out in these kind of fights. Yeah, going well so far. And this time I'll be sure to pick up the potions. This one, my Look at that damage. Oh, come on. Just let me get off this stupid first floor. Seems like I've spent an eternity here. Guys, nice poison! Two more EXP for Asuna. How's the MP? Good enough. Oops. Oh, 
Wow. You can see how much the extra defense is helping Gordon out. Oh, that thing's gonna explode. Holy shit. Okay, this is where the silver plates come in handy. joking right Take that guy out. But at least got a HP up out of it. on this floor did not know that so this formation is not threatening because no sergeants proceed as usual I repeat myself. Extra EXP for Asuna. Really, I appreciate all this. up the trident With the trident, Firion has enough power to not rely on his fists anymore. So this is the end of his bare fist career. Uh, next up, pick up the main gauche and then the Titan's helm. Save in front of the ice sheet. Yeah, let's tackle this special encounter. So to deal with the Gigas, a very basic strategy. Thankfully there was no mage also that spawned. What you want to do is cast Blink as first turn with Maria, switch to the Ancient Sword and try to land curse on the Gigas as soon as possible. Right, 
Bad luck. Who is he gonna hit now? Well, he tried to hit Maria, but if he tried to hit anyone else and they took massive damage, you would then stack blink on them. Same strategy. This is a strategy which you are gonna use a lot. Still not cursed. Okay, 121 damage. I'm gonna stack blink on him. Still not cursed. Interesting. And since it's blink 2 only, just for good measure, I'm gonna cast blink again. I really wanted it to be 3 by this time. Finally, he's been cursed. Now just wail on him and uh, cast blink as appropriate. He'll slowly but surely go down. Only 49 damage, not good enough. Ooh, yeah. Blink on Gordon. Freedom is still fine. And that was the TGF encounter done. Lots of stats all, all around. Transfer the ice shield over to Guy. Actually, surprisingly, Ferian has more HP. Let's just have a look at the endurance. 29, 33. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna still give it to Guy. Oh, there we go. Transfer the gold shield over to Ferian. Material shield to Maria and Gordon can have his bronze shield back finally. Where is it? And now I'm just gonna heal up. Maria is getting low on MP again. So you can see that because of his high stats. Gordon grows very quickly and now I can say that he is quite a useful member. Uh, need to remember to use Ether next battle. Remember to equip another Ether as soon as that one's been con consumed. So nothing much to say till the end of the dungeon here. Pretty much done and dusted.
I think I just went the wrong way. Gordon hardly taking any damage. That's how good the thief gauntlets are. Surprisingly, Firion leveled up his spear. How oh, is he there? He's level 5, which is really good. We're almost at the end of the dungeon and I still have one ether left. That's how good I was at conserving everything. Finally done with this. Holy shit. And we have to watch a mandatory cutscene. During which I'll just take a small break. All right, so that that was the end of the warship. So a couple important things we need to do here, and first and foremost is to unequip Gordon. I'll let him keep his bronze shield. Actually, I'm going to unequip them. Uh, another thing to do is to buy a bold spell. However, I did notice that I got one for free from a mage, so I'm just going to use this. Otherwise, it's just a dent of 400 bucks in your cash. Not a big deal at this point. It's at this point where you'll really have you'll you really have to stop having any cash problems. So let's drop Gordon off.
And remember to get the keywords from Gordon. Heal up. Uh, and then remember to buy one mithril shield for Layla. Did anyone drop mithril shields? Oh no, I took off Gordon's bronze shield, didn't I? Yeah, I'll just give her that. We'll get one for free uh, relatively soon. I've also got a poison scroll drop, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll pick it up in the next dun dungeon. Okay. So what we want to do now is head over to Paloom. Yeah, save. Very important. Don't want to repeat all that. I did heal, didn't I? Pick up Layla. You can see that you don't need a strategy to feed these guys. Pathetic. But Leila herself, she's far from pathetic. But first we need, need to rearrange her in equipment.
give her uh, the bronze shield in her left hand. The hell is it? Main gauge in her right hand. Uh, remove all this crap and give her the thieves gloves. I think that'll do. Make your way to Poft. The encounters are not really anything to write home about. Yeah, the dragon does hit hard. But we've dealt with these things before. Now, starting from this point onwards, Maria really doesn't need to conserve MP. So, start casting uh, spells. Blink to train it up, Asuna train it up, uh, and whenever possible use elemental weaknesses. Because that's the only time that they'll actually get used. Heal up if you want, but we need to make our way to Salamand and buy life spells for everyone. Because now we can actually afford it. straight to the magic shop and sell most of the crap potion all of this can go keep hold of the mallet Where the hell did I get all this crap from? Keep hold of the titan's helm. And this one is Layla's extra plate, isn't it? I don't need that. Keep hold of the gold hairpin as well. So, what do we have finally? We've got the mallet, sleep blade, gold hairpin, titan's helm, and of course, we've got the thieves' gloves on people and uh, ancient sword equipped uh, in its item slot. So, keep these things uh, ready in hand, sell everything else, and buy two life spells. Teach them to Firian and uh, Maria.
Now buy as many ethers as you can. However, keep 8000 gil cash in hand. There we go. I've got about 8000. How many ethers did I get? Quite a lot. More than I'll need actually. And always ensure there's a, a one ether equipped. And now we can proceed. Might as well heal up. Now the peculiar thing about this stage of the story is that the plot actually wants you to travel to Dist. However, the game actually wants you to somehow stumble into the tropical island cave and finish that first. So that's where we are headed to next. Just gonna drop a hard save here. As we're going, Train up Blink. Train up Asuna. Then use an elemental weakness. So at this rate, Maria is going to be going to find it hard to really physically attack. But it's a privilege we can afford. Here we are.
So, notable enemies in this cave are the dual head zombies. They hit really hard. So use blink strats. Okay, these guys are assholes. Fortunately, they have elemental weaknesses. Because of the amount of time it's going to take, I'm not going to bother with Blink and Asuna wasting turns on that. Is gonna keep Layla topped off. Yeah, these guys. There's only one of them, so no need to cast Blink right now. These guys are weak to fire, so I'm just gonna do that. Hopefully he doesn't hit Layla again. Nice. Now at this point, especially for the weaker encounters, have Firion use a sword instead of his trident. I don't have an extra sword, do I? Crescent? Oh, it's, it's fine. As long as he gets sword skills. Yeah. As far as possible, try to keep his sword skills on par with his uh, uh, spear skills. Heal up Layla. Okay, this is quite a dangerous encounter. So I'm just gonna observe who they hit and use blink on them. That was close. She's really not leveling HP.
Layla's gonna overtake her soon. I don't mind that, but come on, Maria. Holy crap. Blink on Ferian. Four hits. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna need to cast Blink on Guy as well. I just can't stop complaining that Blink is still not level 3. Come on guys, survive. Sad but true, this is FF2. You constantly need to be on the edge. Finally Blink levels up. That's gonna help so much. Irritating fools. Oh crap. I need to practice as soon as with her. Now that Blink is level 3, I think just regular use will get it up higher levels. I don't really need to practice it as such. So I will prioritize as soon as for now. Again, nothing really to say. Most of the game is going to be like this.
<laughs> Look at their faces. It's like they're mocking us. Why is he still alive? Oh my god. We are still at 244 HP. Don't know what's gonna happen though. Ouch. I walked out. Finally she gains HP. Okay, she's at 20 MP now, so remember, I need to remember to use the ether. So the first, first thing, I'm traveling to the place where they have those masks, the guys. There's something I need to do there. Can just run away from them though.
Well, she gained HP, so something good happened. And as soon as I say now, and I forgot to use the ito. Damn it! Time. I need to remember to re equip Maria with her ether. I suppose they are giving me quite a lot of weapon skills at least. These long drawn out battles. Not to mention a Suna skills. Equip her with an ether. There we go. Finally made it. Only thing you need to do here is to buy the demon spear from I think this guy. Is it? Yep. Oh, it's ten thousand bucks. Oh crap. But at least, well, whatever. I thought it was eight thousand. It's a guy that runs that eight thousand. Buy one demon spear. That goes to Firin and that is incredibly powerful. Can sell the prize ring now. Now we trace steps and we take the other branching paths. Again, these guys not really anything of note, weakness to ice. But I'm gonna practice Asuna first. They hit moderately hard, so I should convert over to the demon, demon spear. If they can hit, that is.
she's low on MP again, so remember to use the ether. And I think the stream's down again. Yep, 